Well, hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is about the Brother MFC L9330, the 9340, the Brother HL3170, HL3150, and the message is replace WT box or replace WT box soon. These machines have developed a problem where they will give you a false message saying replace this WT box. I've come across several customers recently where they have replaced this box four or five times over the space of 12 months before they've finally twigged. Hang on a minute, this doesn't seem right. Why am I changing this waste box? five times when I've only replaced the toners once. So this waste box is what collects all the toner that doesn't get laid down on the paper. Uh, this chamber in here typically fills up uh, once every 40,000 pages. If you're using crappy toners that you purchased from an online company if you watch my other videos, you know the company I'm talking about. Uh, they will produce more waste and this thing will fill up much faster. So today we're going over fixing this unit. You don't have to replace it. You only have to replace it probably once every four to five years when the actual rubber belt that's here, rubber blade that's here that scrapes this chrome plated bar clean wears out. Um, and this particular unit sits below the transfer belt unit under the drum units. So, your machine's telling you to either change this unit soon or change it now. To work out if your machine is giving you a false message rather than a real message, the switch is under this cover here. So all we have to do is take a screwdriver, undo this screw here, take this plate up and out and have a look at the switch. So in this case, we can see here, this is the switch, the mechanical switch. When the chamber fills up, this little switching mechanism here will go open so it will flick this way and the switch will go open. I've already fixed this unit because this unit was faulty so this switch will go open and then that will tell the machine to give a message replace waste unit soon and then within 200 pages after waste unit soon it then says replace waste box now so if you find that your switch is in the closed position you know that you are getting a false message from the machine so what happens brother have constructed this particular part in this machine rather laxly in my opinion and this message can give you a false message if the connectors here are corroded through just moisture in the air they will also give you a false message if the screw on the side here has become loose from what I can work out, what's happening is when you get a really cold winter's night followed by a really hot, uh, you know, middle of the day, what's happening is the plastic that this unit is constructed of shrinks. And what happens is, you know, as the temperature rises and falls, when the plastic shrinks, the plastic forces this screw 
to rotate anti-clockwise. So the shrinking plastic on here forces the screw to rotate and become loose. What does that then do? Well, because this part has been constructed really quite laxly, I'll just pull it off and I'll show you. Pull the cover off. So this switch mechanism it is connected to this electrode here and this electrode here. And it's simp it's and the two plates. So if we pull this off, they're simply kept together by the screw on this plate. So what happens is you have this piece of metal which forms part of the switch. It makes contact here on the body. And um, the termination between this metal plate and this metal plate is provided by the pressure of this screw. So what's happening is when the weather's cooling down and you know you hit zero degrees the plastic in this hole shrinks and it forces the screw to rotate anti-clockwise and then of course these two plates lose contact with one another so if you want to fix this this particular part permanently you could possibly solder this piece of metal to this piece of metal with a, just a little bit of solder on the corner here or alternatively now that you're aware of the problem uh, what you can do is just simply tighten the screw and that will fix the problem so with this what we're going to do is do a proper job we're going to take a piece of sandpaper we pulled this part of the switch out we stick this on a level surface like so we get the sandpaper and we sand the surface of the plate so I've actually already completed fixing this one I just thought that this would make a, a pretty good video after completing it so we do the same on the surface of the contact points of the switch so we also sand on here okay so we've got this part sanded we've got this part sanded we then want to grab the base of the switch and pull that out So we want to sand this point as well on here, which we've already done. And then we simply put it back in. It's got a notch goes down. It has to go on the other side of this pin here. And on the other side of the pin there. Now yeah, we just want to get into here and sand this plate here as well. So we're sanding in here as well. Uh, then what I do is because it's renowned for causing false messages is I bend the switch slightly. Then we stick it back in. plate back on, notch in, screw it back in nice and tight, we re-engage the switch, so this has to go back into this position here like so 
The switch is closed. Put the plate on. Screw it down. Uh, if your, your waste box is full, you flip it over, you undo this screw here, you undo this screw here, you flip it back over, and then you undo this one here, this clip here, this clip here. Just lift it up that gives you access to the chamber inside and then you can just empty the unit out uh, into a plastic bag and um, yep and then just clip it back in you don't have to open this all the way because uh, you will be getting a lot of toner powder everywhere and then just clip it down and then if you've got uh, yourself an air gun, just spray it all clean. Uh, if you really want to be pedantic, you can clean these electrodes as well. So we're just cleaning this one here, this one here, and this one here ever so slightly. Put the unit back in the printer and your waste message should go away. If you find the waste message doesn't go away, on the body inside the printer where these electrodes touch, clean that with a bit of cream cleaner like Jif or some other clean cleaner and then the problem should be solved. So that's today's video, hopefully that helps you out. Uh, hopefully the video is not too blurry because I can't see the screen because I'm out in the sun today. So, um, uh, yeah, that's today's video. Uh, if you're in the Brisbane Gold Coast area and you need your waste box uh, replaced, uh, we do them on exchange repaired uh, for $88 delivered. Just give us a call. Uh, we'll come out and check your printer out and replace this unit. The only charge is $88. Um, as we're quite commonly coming across people that have purchased brand new units from Brother distributors. And um, of course their printer still doesn't work after that. So uh, this is the case where a reconditioned repaired unit more often than not is actually better than a brand new, out of the box, genuine unit. Uh, so that's today's video, if that's helped you out, and you want to send me some money, the tip uh, link is below. Um, uh, if you want to learn some more things about your brother printer, just subscribe to the channel. I make videos on an ad hoc basis. Um, and that's basically it. Thanks.